In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Bitwarden app. This is a password manager, and I'm going to be showing you how to use it on your Android device. You can use this app on your PC as well as Apple devices, that's iPhones. But for this video, it's just going to be for Android devices. So before we begin, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, let's begin. So you need to head over to the Play Store, and then you search for Bitwarden. When you find it, just tap the Install button. And after installing it, just tap Open. So after opening it, it's going to ask you if you want to create a new account or if you want to log in. So if you don't have an account with Bitwarden, just go ahead and tap create account and then enter your email address and your name and tap continue. You're going to have to check your email. You, you'll get a code that you can use to finish your sign up and then you need to create a strong password. But for me, I already have an account, so I'm going to tap login. To type in login it's going to ask me to enter my email address i have entered the email address next i'm going to tap remember email so that i won't have to log in again and then i'm going to tap continue now i'm going to have to enter the password so after entering the password i'm going to tap here login with master password and now i have access to my bitwarden account so what i'm going to start doing now is entering my emails and passwords so let's say you want to enter your facebook password here you just tap new login tap ok if this shows up so to create a new account this is what you're going to see the first option is the item name so this i'll call this one facebook because i'm creating an account for facebook if you have multiple facebook accounts you can maybe enter the username you use so you may say facebook uh, one folder you don't have to do anything for folder a folder is just a way to organize different types of accounts you want so you may have a folder for maybe social media bank details and so on so i'll leave this one for now so for the username you enter your facebook username here and for the password you enter your current facebook password here so this is just a test password that i entered facebook won't allow you to use for four letter password uh, we're going to leave these ones for now i'll be showing you how to use them later so after creating the username and the password just tap save and as you can see right now i have one log in detail all right so something you should do after creating your first login you come down here to settings tap it and then this second option autofill you tap it then enable this autofill services so select bitwarden i have the beta version but for this tutorial we'll be using the the normal version so just tap it and tap change go back and then you have some other options here i don't think you need to do anything for now i'll, I'll make a separate video where i go over all the settings that are necessary to change when you start using bitwarden okay so now let's say i head over to facebook and i want to log in i'll tap facebook like the link it's going to ask me to log in if i have an account on top i already have an account then i'll tap here now you can see that bitwarden is suggesting to help me enter my username and password so i'll tap bitwarden here as you can see it doesn't show me my facebook details so i'll tap here and then search for it facebook so this is it over here so what i can do now is just tap it and it's going to ask me if I want to just fill the space for the username and the password or if I want to fill it and then save the website as one of the websites where I'm using this password. So I'm going to tap this one, the second option. So now it has entered my username and my password for me. I didn't have to do that myself. Um, Bitwarden did it for me. So I'm going to clean this up. I just cleaned all the info again i'm going to tap it and uh, this time bitwarden is what is appearing here you may not like this this option where bitwarden is just floating on the screen if you don't like it in the next video where i talk about all the different settings i'll show you how to turn this off so if i tap it now it's going to enter the username and the password all right so when i created the first login details i had to use the password that i already knew but with Bitwarden, you can generate very complex passwords. So it's going to be a bit useless if you just get this app just to store 
the password you already created yourself. You need to generate new and complex passwords. So to do that, the first thing you need to do is head over to Facebook, like maybe the app or the website, and then head over to the option for changing your password. Once you get there and you are asked to enter a new password, come back to Bitwarden, open Bitwarden up, tap Facebook, and then tap the edit button down here. Then for the password, delete what you currently have as a password. That one you already know it, so if, if anything goes wrong, you don't have to worry about it. And then tap here, this round icon, just tap it, and Bitwarden will help you generate a password. So for me, I like it when the password is up to 20, the length of the password. I like between 20 and maybe 21. So right now it's 21 characters over here. And you can create a very complex password by enabling all these options. So for me, I like all the options enabled and I like it when the password have at least three numbers and three special characters. So this is what the password will look like. So you're going to tap copy, tap copy, then tap apply, then save this. Then head back to Facebook. Let's say this is Facebook. The space where it asks you for the new password, just long press, paste, go to the other part that asks you to confirm the password by repeating it, long press it, tap paste and save. So your new password has been saved on Facebook and on Bitwarden as well. So whenever you want to log into Facebook, you don't need to remember this password. Just try to remember your Bitwarden password. It's the only password you need to remember. So whenever you want to log into Facebook again and it asks you for your password, you tap here, you can tap Bitwarden, select the account. So this is Facebook one and you can see it has updated the password. This is not my real Facebook password. I'm just using this as an example. So please don't try to hack me. <laughs> Anyways, so this is now the password and I can tap login and if it's the correct password, I'll log in successfully.